Hello everyone, here is Hel from Conscious Rebel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make vegan mac and cheese. First things first, bring to boil some water in a little pan to boil your veggie that you will need to do the um, cheese sauce. So you can throw everything inside all together. Carrots, onions, potatoes, and it will take about 10 to 15 minutes to become very, very tender. Veggie will have to be very, 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 very soft. Uh, to make the sauce very smooth. So it's about 15 minutes, but if after the 15 minutes it will not be soft, just wait a little bit more. Okay, one thing that you can start to do while the um, veggie are cooking is to start to prepare the um, sauce inside a blender. So let's start like thing inside butter, cashew nuts, the salt, garlic, the lemon, just a quarter teaspoon of mustard, and then here, cayenne pepper, smoked paprika, and black pepper. Then, what I do usually, I'll take a little bit of boiling water from veggie and I drop it inside so the butter is gonna start to melt. Uh, everything is ready for when you're gonna add your boiled veggie. Once the veggies are soft, you just have to put them inside the blender together with all the other ingredients. And before drain the water completely, just keep on the sides a little bit of the water from the veggie, just in case the water that there is inside when it's not gonna be enough, the sauce is not gonna be smooth enough, we can add then this hot water to make it a, bit, a little bit smoother. And just switch on and I'll use the high one. After about 15-20 seconds, open the blender and push down all the things that there are on the sides and check the consistency. Let's close it again and let's blend it again. It's quite smooth but it's a bit too thick. So I'm just gonna add a little, little bit of water. Don't put it all together because if it's gonna be then too liquid, it's not gonna be that nice. After adding a little bit of, of the hot water from the veggie, and let's blend it again for about 30 seconds. Let's see how it is. Oh yeah. So now that we have these ready, you can transfer these to a container. And now that the water for the pasta is boiling, you can just set up your timer. In my case, it's just seven minutes. And um, put a little bit of coarse salt in the water, just not even a teaspoon just leave it to cook. Just one thing that you need to remember every time you cook pasta is an Italian telling you this, so you can trust me. When you throw the pasta, first of all, you need to wait for the water to boil. Because I know of some pasta killers that they just put pasta and water together and they boil it all together. No. It's just a big no. One thing that you need to remember, wait for the water to boil, throw the pasta, follow the instruction of the packet, add a little bit of salt so that the pasta does not that plain taste. And once you throw the pasta inside the pan, steer it, steer it, steer it. Otherwise the pasta is gonna stick to the bottom. Get yourself a nice container and transfer your, look at that! Transfer your mac and cheese sauce inside the container oh my god this looks amazing and once the pasta is cooked drop it together with with the pasta once the pasta is ready get a colander ready just drain the pasta and just drop it inside in your container and just mix it very 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 well And that's it. You can add a little bit of um, nutritional yeast on top of that. Enjoy.